In this video lab, we are going to see how to perform an offline domain join in Active Directory. For this demonstration, I have a domain controller running on Windows 7 2016 and a client computer that is Windows 10 Evolution Edition and it is in a work group. There are two steps to offline domain join process. Step 1. Provisioning a computer account in Active Directory using djoin slash provision command and then you can join the desired computer into Active Directory using djoin slash request odj command. So let's see how we can provisioning a computer account in Active Directory. For that, you have to log on to your domain controller or you can perform this command on member server of your domain. The account you log on with must have permission to add workstation to the domain. For this demonstration, I am using domain administrator account. Then you have to open a command prompt. So let's open a command prompt. On a command prompt, you have to run command djoin slash provision then slash domain. Here you have to specify the name of your domain. Here in my case it is mprtv. Then you have to specify the switch machine. And here you have to specify the netbase name of your computer. For me it is lab-cli01. Then you have to specify the location of the file. Now let's specify the location c slash users slash administrator slash desktop and then I'm going to specify the name win10 blop.txt and hit enter. Okay, so as you can see provisioning the computer successfully provisioned lab-cli01 in the domain mprtv. Provisioning data was saved successfully to this file name win10 blop.txt. Computer provisioning completed successfully. The operation completed successfully. Now let's open Active Directory. Now if the djoin slash provision commands complete successfully, you will see a new computer account in your computer's container under your domain. If you click on a computer's container, here you can see we have a one computer account named lab-cli01. Before you can join your offline machine to the domain, it must have access to the file created by the djoin slash provision command. So we have to copy this file to our client computer. Now in the next step, we are going to join our client to our domain using djoin slash request odg command. But for that, you must have to copy this file to our Windows 10 client computer. So this is the, our Windows 10 computer and already I copied the text file from our domain controller. Let's see the system property of this Windows 10 computer. As you can see, the computer name is lab-cli01 and the computer is currently in a work group. We want to perform an offline domain join to this Windows 10 computer. Let's close the system property and let's open the command prompt with the elevated privilege. Select command prompt admit. Click on yes. Now on this command prompt, you have to specify the command djoin slash request to dj slash load file then you have to specify the path of your file in my case it is c users admin desktop and then the file name once you specify the location of the file then you have to specify the switch windows path i'm going to specify percentile system root percentile and then you have to specify the switch local os once you specify the command correctly, then you can press the enter key. Now as you can see, loading provisioning data from the following file. The provisioning request completed successfully. A reboot is required for change to be applied. The operation completed successfully. Now let's see the system property again. Click on system. And here, as we can see, the computer name is lab-cli01. Full computer name is lab-cli01.mprtv.lab. Now as you can see, currently computer is still in a work group. Now once you run the command, you have to reboot your Windows 10 computer. So let's reboot the Windows 10 computer. Let's close this and let's restart. Once the machine has rebooted, let's again log into our Windows 10 computer. Remember that you will only be able to log on with the domain account for the first time if there is a connectivity to the DC. Now let's click on start button, let's select system, 
And as you can see, now this time our computer name is lab-cli01. The full computer name is lab-cli01.mprtv.lab. And as you can see, this computer is now part of the domain name mprtv.lab. So this is the way how we can perform an offline domain join in Windows 10 computer in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory.